everyone now today we are here to do an experiment from the subject chemistry aim of this experiment is to determine the melting point of ice let's discuss some theory related to this topic here we will talk about the melting point let's discuss some theory related to this topic here we will talk about the melting point melting point of the substance means that temperature at which it changes from solid to liquid state material required to do this activity are ice beaker tripod stand a stand for hanging the thermometer candle one stirrer now i have arranged the thermometer in such a way that the bulb of the thermometer is in the contact with the ice now this end portion of the thermometer that is the red portion of this thermometer is known as the bulb of the thermometer now i have placed in such a way that the bulb is in the direct contact with the ice now no doubt the temperature in the thermometer we want to note down the melting point of the ice so firstly we will heat the ice with the help of the candle when the ice start melt we will note down the temperature and when the ice completely melts then we note down the temperature in the last we will take the mean of these two temperature that will give us the melting point of this ice let's heat the ice side by side we have to do one precaution that we have to continuously stir the ice when the ice starts melting then we will note down the temperature now see because of the heat some ice start melting and let's note down the temperature it is 0 degree celsius now we will continuously stir this ice until the complete ice will be converted into the water initially we have noted down the temperature that was 0 degree celsius is that temperature when our ice start converting into the water now we will calculate that temperature when complete ice will be converted into the water that will be the t2 temperature then finally we will take the mean of t1 and t2 temperature that mean will give us the melting point of the ice see with the heat of the candle the ice is melting but still the temperature is 0 degree celsius now we will note that temperature when the ice will completely melt so from here we are concluding that during the change in the state the heat is used to change the state it is not used to raise the temperature now note down the temperature this is still 0 degree celsius and our complete ice is converted into the water this temperature i will denote by t2 t1 is the temperature that i have initially noted that was also 0 degree celsius and t2 is this temperature when the complete ice is converted into the water when i will take the mean of these two temperature that have both the same value 0 degree celsius then i will get the mean 0 degree celsius and this 0 degree celsius is known as the melting point of ice so from this activity we have find out the melting point of ice and that is equals to 0 degree celsius i hope this activity is clear to you and you have enjoyed it thank you so much